you here, welcome. I'm so excited to be sharing this video. It is a nursery decorate with me and nursery tour video. And I just wanna go ahead and share with you that there are some things that are already put up, things that I couldn't do by myself that I needed my husband to do. And unfortunately, I didn't take any video clips of him doing any of these things. Um, I think I just got excited. So I will insert a clip of what this room looked like, which is the only clip that I have, unfortunately. So this is what the room looked like before. So if you wanna see how we got to the after, stay tuned. So very quickly before I start decorating, I just wanna go over the things that are already in the room. I did went ahead and asked my husband to mount the fire mantle onto the wall. Originally I wanted to sell this and it wasn't selling on Facebook Marketplace and I just decided to keep it and use it as decor in her room and I love the fact that it actually stayed here and it looks really pretty. Originally it was white and I had stenciled some little things on the center of it for looks when I had it in my dining area. And when I got my hutch, I tossed the fire mantle into the storage guest room. And now it is this nice sage green and I use the Rethunk Junk paint to paint it and I love the color that it turned out and I just love how it looks in this room. The next thing we did was to add some lattice as a border around the room. Originally, I wanted to do some board and batten, um, the cheaper route, which is through using lattice or MDF boards. Um, but just to keep everything in the budget friendly zone, we just went ahead and added lattice um, as a border instead of the board and batten look. The next thing that we did, we added a hook onto the ceiling so that way I could hang this beautiful canopy that I got from Amazon. Now everything that I got from Amazon, I will go ahead and link it in the description box down below so you can see the price and just if they have them in stock in case you're interested. But that's where I got the canopy and I love it's a beige pinky color and I just love the detail and it just looks very feminine and also cottagey farmhousey at the same time like old school and I love how it just makes the room look it just looks just very feminine and so cute. I knew I wanted to do some accent piece in her room so I went with this wallpaper and I got it from an Etsy store and the cheapest way that I could get it was if I asked for a complete horizontal panel. So I asked for 24 inches in height and 120 inches in width so that way I could just at home cut it with an X-Acto knife into 24 inch panels so that way I, it would be easier to install. Because of the fire mantle, this became a little bit of an awkward corner here. So I wanted to have some visual interest, something hanging, so that way it didn't look so awkward and empty. I hung this wire lampshade that I thrifted and hung it up with just some jute twine. And I did not want the jute twine to be exposed, so I did purchase this burlap cover from Hobby Lobby. I purchased these white ruffled blackout curtains from Target and I love them because they do the job well. They do block out the sun and this is perfect for a nursery room. And I also went with white because I felt I had enough pattern and bold colors in the room that I did not want to add that to the curtains. We went ahead and added the shelf that I wanted to hang all my decorative pieces above the changing table and the changing table I did get from Facebook Marketplace a couple weeks ago and this was originally white and I went ahead and painted it the same color as the fire mantle. I knew I wanted to paint the closet door in this room and I went back and forth between a nice subtle pink or keep it the same color as I've been using on the fire mantle and the changing table which is the sage green and once I got done painting it the blush pink color I definitely did not want to keep that color I just felt like it didn't match it didn't go with the rest of the room so I did end up painting it green. I 
I did, however, use the blushed pink paint to paint this rocking chair that I thrifted. And I wanted to paint it because it clashed with the color of the futon, so I thought pink would look well. Because this room is so small, I went with a mini portable crib, and I think that it complements the space very well. And I also got the crib sheets from Amazon. styling the fire mantle I really wanted to bring some cottage like pieces and just a vintage type of a styling along with some greenery because I have greenery throughout the house so I think that just ties up this room all together with the rest of the house. <music> So I'm always getting inspired by different things, either on Pinterest or people I follow on Instagram and just different pictures that I come across. So I follow this lady on Instagram. I'll leave her handle in case you want to go and check her out. Um, but she had something similar in her nursery room and that's where I got inspired. So I went to Hobby Lobby and got this memo board that has like a burlap covering on it and it just looks nice and vintagey and kind of shabby chic ish so I am going to use this as the background and add this nice plush sheep head that I got from Amazon and I actually put a nail through it because a simple pin wasn't doing it so I used a nail on here and then added the sheep head. Because of the placement of this fire mantle, there is an exposed plug on the wall and I wanted to have a way to cover that but also give visual interest to the bottom part since a lot is going on on the top and it just looked very plain on the bottom. So to add some visual interest, I went to Hobby Lobby and grabbed some of this fabric. I believe it's called Duck Fabric and it's just beige or tannish in color. And I asked for the amount of fabric that would cover a size of 4x4. So the lady cut it for me and I cut it in half. And all I'm doing to add it onto the fire mantle is using a hot glue gun and then kind of squeezing the pieces together at the top so it makes a ruffled effect. And this way, if I ever get tired of it, I can just pull it out and not damage the fire mantle itself. To complete the look, I just added some ribbon and made a bow on the fabric and then adding a little bit of glue to the sides of the mantle so that way it gives me a curtain draped effect.
So next to the fire mantle, there's this weird, awkward space that was just bothering me because it just looked too plain. So I did hang up the wire lampshade, but I felt that something needed to draw your eye to the lower part. So I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and got this really cute chalkboard and I just liked the detail around the border of the chalkboard and I got it for $20 so I went ahead and mounted it up and I just liked the way it turned out. To decorate this shelf above the baby changing table, I'm using these shoes and all I did was add some ribbon and tied a bow at the ends so that way it just brings in a little bit of vintage, shabby chic or just a nice element that looks feminine. And then I'm also adding this dress that I thrifted a couple weeks ago at Goodwill. This is a basket that I also thrifted a couple weeks ago and I am just adding some dried florals from Hobby Lobby. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you the pieces now I'm just going to be adding the changing pad that has grippers at the bottom which is amazing because that way it's not moving around on the top of this table and I got the changing pad cover from Amazon which also matches the floral print on the wallpaper I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanting to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I went back and forth on what I wanted to do on this side of the wall I felt everywhere else was very nice and put together with nice colors that went all together with the room and so I finally just decided to use the frames that I had originally thrifted. They were a bit too on the gold side so I did dial it down using some dark wax around the picture frames and I think it just added that nice vintage subtle cottage feel that I was looking for and then just added the E in the center. So when designing this nursery room, I knew I wanted either a daybed or a futon in this room. And daybeds were a little bit more on the expensive side, so I was able to get this futon through Walmart at about $150, which I thought was great. And I really loved the color because it went well with the rest of the room. And all I did was added a couple pillows to make it look a little bit more put together with the rest of the room. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, 
I was always the one to find myself lost. Now I'm just adding some finishing touches around the room, including this wooden rocking horse that I got at the thrift store. Then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. I DIY'd this pendant light using a Dollar Tree basket and a lighting kit from Amazon and I wanted it to look a little different but for now this will do. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors and never I could not find a carpet that I liked for the nursery room so for the meantime I did find this tummy time mat and I'm just adding it to the center of the room This is what the room looked like before this was my decorative storage dumping grounds and this is what it looks like now I feel so free oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you Making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got inspired to decorate your nursery if you're expecting a baby girl or if you just like decorating videos in general. So I'm so happy that you're here. My channel just recently hit over a thousand subscribers so I'm so happy to have a growing community here at Consider It All Joy. I appreciate and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for the sweet comments and prayers and blessings over our soon to be here baby girl. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to be part of the Consider All Joy community. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.